Uh, it's Friday night up in the high country and Steve's made a bloody awesome fire for us to rock up in a camp, all that fresh firewood there, mint. So we're gonna have a we're gonna turn in now, have an early night and um, have a little look around this camp and then um, we're heading up into the um, Maroka side, something a little bit different this time. We'll go on the other side to where we normally go into the old stomping ground. See what we can turn up. So it's beautiful weather. We're going to have um, kind of low twenties, high teens, and overnight so we're only going to be five or six degrees. So perfect backpacking weather. So we have a, a cruisy, comfy night here. Put the swag set up, and then tomorrow we'll put the backpacks on and do a few hard yards out over the top and see what we can find. So we've got a rip of a day. Sunshine's out. We um, went for a little walk over the back here and. Got a glimpse of a couple of deer, but a long way off and didn't stand up for us for very long. So, have some brekkie and we'll head up over the top of the range and um, a nice kind of northerly breeze, which is um, perfect at the moment because we, we, we're going to be heading into the into the sun. So that should work well if it stays up like this, but not a cloud in the sky. So it should be uh, all good for a ripper weekend. open gully we're on their way down into the Maroka for the um for the night. We've got um Steve and Don with me. He's punched through a little bit of stuff from up top and um yeah nice little spot here. It's nice and open. We sat on this for a little bit. Didn't see any deer pop around but it is getting a bit on in the day now so we'll keep making our way through to our uh, camp spot and we should get some good uh Really nice glassing off these bluffs ahead. Our destinations camp so we're gonna set up here for the night this is us we've got the, um, the mighty Maroka just over the hill here you guys see with me putting in the hard yards <laughs> what do you reckon so far oh, it's, uh, it's not too bad <laughs> it's pretty full on though yeah yeah well, we had a pretty good run through there it wasn't too thick we um, we've got a nice game trail there and a, a pretty used trail at that so picked up a bit of time but it's some big country down there, big, um, big opposing bluffs, and yeah, it's going to be um, our work's going to be cut out for us to try and find some. But there is sign here; there's deer around. We just need to um, get uh, get set up for dark. Don, Don's over here. Yeah, they're like the little sugar ants. They're flat out. <laughs> yeah. The old trusty. The old trusty uh, backpack, mate. Yeah. Out again. Jeez, it's warm, isn't it? Oh, mate, it's uh, really, really warm. It's probably the warmest I've hunted all year. If, you know, um, especially middle of the day. You know, no breeze. But uh, I tell you what, when you get a little bit down the gully there, gee, it's nice. Yeah, we're just. Um, it's meant to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, but we've just got to conserve a bit of water because um, there isn't any up here, and we don't intend on going right down to the river line on this trip. So. We'll um, keep the camera rolling, see how we do. So this is the um, the wisp. Oh, it's got its own pole. Yeah. Don't have to use the walking pole. Comes with the pole, yeah. Yep, that's mint. 
Jeez, it's, we're considering it's not Cuban fire, but it's still super light. It's almost, isn't it? Yeah. It's very similar. 565. 565 grams. So this is the, the uh, Big Sky Wisp. And um, it's got a bug box, which is nice. Like a lot of those tents see underneath. I'll give you another look when it's set up. Hey, cutting down the kilos. Little camera, this is really, really wide and super stable. And the Sony's kick butt, you can just walk and you don't need to. Yeah, that's good. It's actually really good audio. Is it all set up? It's perfect, really. Got a little bit of space outside the bug screen, good tub floor. And they give you a bit of the um, the Tyvek liner on the bottom too. Yeah, it's a good touch. You can see that type, this Tyvek under here, this stuff's so tough. Nice, so, was it 565 grams? 565 grams total, that's pegs as well. Uh, I think it's an extra 100 grams or something for the pegs. 100 grams pegs. They're good pegs though. You can see they're solid. Mint. Well, it was a bit of bit of a walk from camp in, but um, pretty nice view from up here. Some nice grassy spots down in below too. Yeah, this is us for the Arvo. Sun's gonna fall fast on this side. So um, Steve's just made a good spot. It kind of centre screen in that white fork. There's a stag standing there. Um, I'll try and put my finger in front of the screen so you can see. He's um, no, that isn't gonna work. <laughs> so yeah, centre screen. There's a white fork. The stag straight with his head in the middle of that forked branch. Almost in the open there, just feeding away. His head's up now. Good spot, Steve. Uh, we've just come back to camp to see a um, pretty good stag. Steve uh, glassed up one and again he was kind of low to mid 20s but really good form and beautiful cape on him too so we were um, hoping for one a little bit closer than him. He, he ranged up at just over a thousand meters um, so we'll stay here for the night. We're all pretty spent. <laughs> How's the walking stick Steve? Yeah the walking stick's rough man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think um, that would be probably your gear pick for the, the trip, the Absolutely. walking sticks. Yeah, definitely. And, um, and then, yeah, we'll have to do a recount of water, and that's the thing, water, you, up here, you just go through it so quick, a lot quicker than you think. How'd you go then, Steve? Yeah. Chew down a litre or two? Before sunrise, I'm back in the uh, the perched cliff space. So the sun blasting, it's just perfect timing. First light, nice northerly breeze.
Bloody junk. In the middle of the bush, there's wrappers, polystyrene cuffs, and rubbish and shit everywhere. It's pretty piss poor. Hopefully, it's not a hunter that's done that. Well, we made it back. It's been a hot, bloody day. There's a hot slug out, all a little bit sweaty and smelly. But, um, we are uh, happy campers in the end, what did you think? Oh, it was amazing, just the, the country is, you just don't get to see that, you know, like it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, you got to work hard for it, but yeah, it is, it's something else, isn't it? It's worth the effort, even though we came back empty handed, yep. it's, it's, just a bit, it's just the adventure. Just to see how vast, and it makes you feel pretty small when you're sitting out on a bluff like that, and on a map you're like, oh, we'll just go down here, and punch down there and then you know, you get out there and you're just like wowed by it how much how much out there. It's just it's crazy and that look when you can glass you know, kilometers. Kilometers, yeah you know, three three and a half square kilometers yeah. on one face and you can see uh, virtually every bit of it, yeah. you know, bar a few trees and it's the Lycas did well you you with a glass and deer a thousand meters. Yeah. They're ten powers, ten power, power Lycas. Glass and deer I mean you you got you actually saw the most. You picked them up quicker than I did with the 15 Swaro, so saying a lot for the like is that even at those distances it was impressive and the, the heat haze and the, the eucalypt haze as well. Yeah. What do you think Don? Yeah well the harder it is the better it always sort of is isn't it yeah. when, you, when you when you finish it of course but that uh, no, was great great trip yeah I mean. Um, Replenish some sugars and some carbs yeah. there. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just the coldness too though. Yeah. <laughs> the guys have been temperature down a bit. <laughs> talking about a cold beer for the last <laughs> kilometre I reckon. <laughs> yeah, you definitely earned that one, that's for sure. Yeah. Alright, good stuff.